Next thing I normally do is I have my laptop with me down here. Um, I start to get that booted up and then I get that, get, get that, that on the network. And then I start to align my cameras down here because it's easier to line them down here if I have to make any adjustments before I go up to the timing booth. So as you see here down in the lower right corner, I turn that first camera on so that's showing that it's booting into there. You can see the, the green bar coming in. So that's the first one that comes up and then to verify it you can see that there's a picture there now and I'll start to fine tune that as we go but you can already start to see the lane lines that are out there um, that are marked on the track but that's that's the first camera that comes up and then what I do is I shut that one down then I go to my next camera boot that one up goes through the same process you'll see that come up here in a minute it should boot And I did the second camera that's on there. So I just click on that, bring that one up. As you can see, these are a little dark because I was using them outside the last time. And you'll see that one starts to go here. But these, what I normally do is I have one camera that you can see all the lanes for all the dashes. And then I have the, the lower camera. I focus on the, in, on the inside lane so it's easier to read for the, for the distance races. And the next thing I will do is go over to the Identilynx camera and do the same thing as I had it before. I will just get that plugged in. Then that boots up kind of almost in the same aspect as the other cameras. So we get that going and then normally what I will do is bring my laptop over here with me and then I can get this one zoomed in as exactly how I want it to. So on there now what you can see is you can start to see the, the picture on there. This one here is more of a manual for light and those types of things, so I kind of have to do some manual tweaks on it to get it going. So as you can see, I can get that pretty focused in as we go, and then I normally just focus that on those one through lanes four. And if you want to watch this, I will, I don't know if you can see that down here, but I will, as I come through here, You'll see it as just as a runner's coming through. It's full motion video as it comes through, then it records it as you as you go with it. So what that does then is these are capturing them from the side. They're the high speed side of it. This is integrated with it at the same time. So as you go to look at it on the side view, it automatically finds that same picture within the, the video. Okay, just as a recap of what we just went through on the set setup for finish links, as you can see. We have our timing box um, with all of our timing equipment and uh, switching into it. Those cables are going into the pit for both power and network. Um, and then also coming out of the timing box are the connections to, for the two uh, finish links cameras, uh, both power and network to that. Um, then going across here, we have a network cable that's running over to this tripod that's connecting our Identilynx camera, which is the full motion video that integrates with the finish links camera. Um, so with that, the next thing we will do is um, go up to our timing standpoint which is our timing booth uh, above the track and set up our laptops and get network connectivity to those and um, get the cameras and our high-tech scoring software up and running. Okay as a recap um, we're now up at the timing uh, booth area that's above the track and as I had talked about earlier um, with the cameras that are down on the track they're on the network and they run to a central wiring closet. Um, we have a network port that's over here on the wall that I plug into to connect into the same network and then it allows us to pull, go into a switch and enable our laptops up here to be on the same network. As you can see on this laptop here, I've got the high-tech scoring system software on there that we've got the meet already seated. On my second monitor, um, it's the same screen as I had down below on the laptop. As you can see, as we brought up those cameras, each of the cameras are showing up now um, within finish links. There's the full motion video. Um, so this is where we will, we will time the meet from. Um, we've got our remote sensors for the start signal that the, each of the starters will use at the different locations on the track and that's how we get our start time. Um, from that standpoint, we analyze the, the picture as it comes across, it gets the time, we save the file, and then from that standpoint, we coordinate with our Dactronics technician um, at their standpoint uh, across the track here and then they start pushing the results to the scoreboard.